Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us today. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Although Jesus' ministry had only recently begun, he was clearly already very busy. His authoritative preaching and miraculous healings were attracting great interest, and he had little time to himself. But he knew that his authority came from God his Father, and so he needed to keep close contact with him. That meant that he had to work hard to find a special time and place to pray. He knew that his ministry relied upon it. As we walk in the footsteps of Jesus, we need to work just as hard to find our special times and places to pray. One thing is certain, personal prayer won't happen without discipline and determination. We'll always be able to fill our time with other activities. The key thing is to become convinced that prayer is our priority and that other activities, however worthy and enjoyable, are of lesser importance. That's often hard to accept because we tend to judge ourselves and others tend to measure us by our activities. For the person who doesn't understand how God works, prayer could easily look like a complete waste of time. The place where we pray is often very important. It may be that you have a special place in your home where you can sit and pray. In a busy household, this might be hard to achieve. I've heard of one person who claimed that the only quiet place they could ever find in their home was their loo. Perhaps you have a park where you can walk. But wherever your special place may be, you need to cherish the opportunity to meet with God in quietness. William Wilberforce, famous for his involvement in the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade, once wrote, Of all things, guard against neglecting God in the secret place of prayer. Whoever we are, and whatever our life looks like, we all need to make prayer a priority, just like Jesus. Let me pray with you. Loving Father, thank you for the privilege of being able to pray to you. Help us always to make it a priority. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. You can hear me on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.